guys, welcome back to the channel. By the way, you get to meet my daughter. This is Michaela. Hi, guys. Uh, you've never met her before, but anyway, she's going to be uh, helping me with a lot of the filming on this video. This video is going to be a little bit of a treat for you. We're going to a campground in Tennessee. Uh, you want to tell them where we're going? We're going to Sevierville, Pigeon Forge, and Gatlinburg. Right. So we are taking our the, the Jayco camper that you've seen us. Uh, oh, you see me a couple of videos. You see me do some work on it. And we're hauling that all the way up to uh, Tennessee. Uh, the wife and uh, my son and my other daughter, and of course Michaela, uh, and our dogs. We're going to go on this trip, and we want to take you guys along with it. Uh, do you have anything to add? I do not. All right, let's take off. All right, guys, so before we take off, I actually have to unplug the electricity. So I'm going to do that, and I will actually show you guys. So here I do that. I lift this little dingle hopper up and I have to somehow figure out how to do this with one hand because it's actually <laughs> really hard. Hold on. I might have to put you down. One second. Okay, so now I've disconnected this from this. I just take this and I put it back in the hole because now it's going to be ready for travel. And there you go. And. Sorry, I had trouble flipping around the camera. But now we're unhooked and ready to go. Okay guys, so currently we're on the road. It's about a four hour drive. It is currently 9.18, so time of arrival. What's nine, nine plus four? I would say one o'clock. One o'clock, okay. So we'll let you know when we get there. Hey guys, welcome back. We have made it to our destination. We are staying at Rippling Waters Campground in, uh, where are we? Sevierville, Tennessee. Sevierville, Tennessee. So we uh, thought we'd share this campground with you guys. It is a really nice campground. Actually surprised. And we're actually right off the river. Too. Yeah, there's actually a river behind us. You can't see it, but there's a river behind us. Uh, tomorrow, and then, oh, check out that, that nice oh lighting behind short. us. There we go, we cut down like that, huh? Anyway. We wanted to let you know that we've arrived and uh, we've got our campsite semi set up. The campers are rolling in at this camp facility. But uh, anyway, we will check back with you soon. We wanted to let you know we were here as well as um, just, hey, stick around, see if you like the video. Um, I will go ahead and say if you, if you get a chance, uh, subscribe. Also, if you wouldn't mind liking this video, sharing the video would be really appreciated but uh we will go throughout probably we'll be here till sunday um we're going to share this video is well excuse me the, the length of this whole process with us uh we're going to do it and we'll try to video it and record it so you guys can see it we will we'll also like put in little pictures of the whole trip here or like wherever we go we'll take pictures and we'll insert it in so you guys can see that and everything so there's a lot there's a lot going on uh stick around hope you enjoy the video we'll talk with you guys soon hey guys so i wanted to uh do a little brief update so we've gotten settled in here at this camp facility or campground uh really cool campground to be honest with you um it's called ripley's Rip on the river or something like that i'll, I'll get definitely de details for you i know it sounds kind of crazy been here for a minute don't know what you're talking about or where we've been but anyway uh getting ready to get some dinner on the uh, Blackstone tonight and uh, some hot dogs nothing major nothing big but uh, we're just getting situated Got a little fire going off in the background here but uh, anyway just wanted to give you guys an update of what was going on uh, first night in Tennessee so uh, kind of kind of like it here this area we're here I don't know if you can see the lighting in the background there a lot of but right here this it, can't really see it but it's like a boulevard right there but on the other side over here on this side is a big river um, which you can't see it right now but there's a good sized river right here running I'd say it's probably a good 50 60 feet wide it's probably wide, wider than that I, I'm not really good on dimensions on that but anyway just wanted to uh, give you guys an update of what was going on so we're getting squared up uh, for the evening. It's about 9 o'clock in the evening, so we're going to cook some hot dogs, uh, have a few drinks and relax and 
sit by the fire, maybe do some marshmallows and uh, anyway, uh, guys, we'll check back with you here shortly, um, probably tomorrow, uh, we'll do another update, but uh, guys, God bless you and hopefully everything's well for you, we'll talk with you tomorrow, bye bye. Hey guys, it's top of the morning to you, uh, it's about 9 o'clock on Thanksgiving morning, 2020. Well, 2020 more like, I guess you prefer. Anyway, this is the view we have this morning from the river. Um, my daughter and, well, my daughters and, da I guess my both of my daughters are still having a nap. Or still sleeping, I guess, this morning. I'm going to cook some breakfast um, on the Blackstone. Uh, in, in case you haven't noticed, I mean, I've, I've said it a couple times in videos, but I'm a big Blackstone fan. Um... To me, I love flame broiled burgers and flame broiled chicken and things like that, but I like my Blackstone. Um, today, we're going to cook some eggs and bacon. Um, I don't really know what all the wife has on the Blackstone today, but uh, this is the view we're getting today with a little bit of clouds back there, but I'm sure you can see on my face here. There we go. Oh, little little thicket of uh, sunlight right there. Ooh, people. Anyway, we are going to, I guess, start working on breakfast. And uh, I don't know what today holds other than turkey and ham. And uh, let's see. Let's go down that actually list of things. <clears throat> so what I do know, excuse me, is that the wife has uh, got turkey. Uh, we've got honey glazed ham. We've got sweet potatoes, casserole, uh, or pie, yeah, I guess it would be casserole, and uh, we have also green bean casserole. We also are having apple pie for dessert. We are also having mashed potatoes. Um, anyway, you will see that, I'm sure, uh, at some point today. But uh, anyway, guys. I know this is just going to let you know this video is going to be pretty lengthy, but more of a blog for us as well as something for somebody else to see. So, guys, thanks for sticking around for the video. Um, I guess we'll talk with you soon. So, right now we have breakfast going. Dad's breakfast on the black bacon. Chicken. And then we also should have some French toast. I'm not sure what mom's doing inside right now, but I know Haley's doing her hair. We're all getting ready for the day. Oh, Haley's my older sister. Jaden is currently playing outside right there. And if you can hear it in the background, it's actually a helicopter. You can't quite see it now, but if I could get it on camera, I would show you. But there's a helicopter riding place like right across the street and you'll hear it throughout the day just going around and around. No, no, no. Can you, can you smell that? Oh yeah, it smells good. Can you smell that behind you too? Behind me? Oh. We have a turkey going. That's not a turkey. That is, a tu is it not? Oh, no, that's the ham. Oops. But we will be having turkey. So, uh, mom's already got the ham going for this morning. Well, not this morning. Hungry? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm actually really hungry, to be honest. But, yeah, I was just updating you guys on what's going on, and... We will, <laughs> we will be doing uh, turkey, uh, of course, first of the day, because that's what it is today. Today is Thanksgiving. Um, and this is 2020, Thanksgiving. Of course, it's a little bit different, but uh, I thought, you know, just this moment when we uh, we go to, to break bread, if you will, or have a uh, turkey dinner, that we as a family would um, tell them what we give thanks for. I think that's important that we all recognize that, uh, especially men and women who have served uh, our country men and women that are helping our um, uh, 
front lines, I guess you would call it, you know, hospitals and things of that nature. Uh, because, you know, I was a fireman for many years, and I, I, right now I just can't imagine being in that situation because, I mean, I'm sure it comes second nature to you now because it's been a period of time, but at the same point, you still got that in the back of your brain thinking, what the heck am I going to do? So, but, all right, guys, we're going to check back with you here soon. Um, all right, guys, so we uh, are having our Thanksgiving dinner. My wife is uh, done a little bit outdone herself. Thought I would uh, share with you guys our meal for our camping experience. We definitely have uh, have something to share. Let's let's show this here. So we got some green bean casserole. Looks like we've got some macaroni and cheese. Cheese, which you will see for a topping on the actual broccoli and cauliflower we also have some stuffing which is in that silver pan in this silver pan okay excuse me we've got a nice ham we've got some turkey now of course we've all made our plate so that's why it looks not as pretty as it could be <clears throat> anyway all that being said oh wait don't forget the sweet potato but uh, the family and I have just sitting down now uh, to eat our dinner hope you guys are doing well this is an update just to give you an idea of what's going on with the trip um, well I guess we'll catch you on the next update on this trip uh, there, there's Michaela hey Michaela eat your dinner oh I am oh I am well it's a good thing we're all eating our dinner What's going on guys so wanted to catch up with you this evening uh, it's Friday evening so it'd be the day or second day true day but the third day of our our trip when I say that what I mean is you know Wednesday was half a day for us so we got here anyway uh, and to recap on that in case you're curious uh, so we were here Wednesday evening uh, last night being Thursday which is Thanksgiving for us and then of course Friday tonight and then tomorrow will be Saturday Sunday afternoon we'll be heading back to North Carolina where we are from um, anyway didn't do a whole lot of videoing today uh, didn't do any videoing except for what you're seeing now on Friday uh, just wanted to catch up with you guys and tell you a little bit of recap of what we did for today um, what we did do today was went to Pigeon Forge which is a uh, which is just around the corner from where we are staying um, that being said I just we went to a place called the island and um, you know there's a lot of shops there a lot of places to do things a lot of, a lot of options for you to go out and do resort things I guess you're not really resort more like uh, tourist things so you know you had escape rooms and you had uh, you know ferris wheels to ride and you had zip lines to play on as well as shops um, very cool little area to check out if you get a chance uh, it's called the islands something like that um, check it out uh, so last night when I talked to you about uh, our dinner and what have you and places we were staying um, I wanted to recap on that or tell you exactly where it is we're staying which is Ripley Water Campground and cabin rental um, the lady that actually has the who is the owner here uh, very cool very cool lady very Christian woman what looks to be uh, your genuine kind of person guys I highly recommend coming here and visiting her uh, her rates are very great uh, her rates are actually the same rates that you will see year-round uh, and she is a 24 uh, she means she is a uh, 365 facility um, she has a 50 amp you know uh, capability all of her sites are 50 amps um, the only thing that I that I would say that I had a little issue with is that bring your own fire pit the pit you just saw a minute ago just before I started talking to you uh, is my own personal uh, I keep that in the rig at all times but uh, anyway that being said that that's the only thing that I would say uh, her rates are great she kind of puts you right here next to all the, the activities and, and the goodies um, for us Dollywood if you're interested in going to Dollywood Dollywood's not too far down the street um, Gatlinburg we're actually gonna try to go to that area tomorrow 
Uh, I want to take you on to that. Um, take you along with us on that. I know I said we were going to see you tomorrow and this, that, and the other, but kind of just didn't didn't do a whole lot for breakfast this morning, so there was really nothing to record. But yes, we did have breakfast. Let me tell you about that breakfast. Not your typical breakfast. We actually had uh, apple pie uh, for breakfast. We had Thanksgiving dinner, of course, yesterday. And didn't really get the chance to enjoy the apple pie that the missus made um, for the trip. And so, Michaela, which you've already met, uh, and of course, uh, she started this morning eating it. And I was thinking, you know what? Gotta watch what we're doing. So, you know, we're on vacation. Let's have some apple pie. And man, the wife outdid herself quite lovely on that. It was delicious, uh, had a great flavor to it. Anyway, um, if you haven't figured it out yet, my wife is the mystery of the channel. She calls herself the mystery. I'm going to try my hardest tomorrow if I can get Michaela to get on board with me. Uh, to, to not, you haven't seen her yet. You saw a brief moment of her last night. I don't know. I think Michaela may have gotten you a little show of it. But uh, anyway, I'm going to try to get her on the channel tomorrow or on this video so you guys can take a look at her. Or not really look at her, but uh, you can see her, meet her. Um, she's very camera shy. Now, my oldest daughter, uh, which you have not met yet, um, Haley, she is a TikTok. I'm going to call her fanatic. She has like 60,000 followers on TikTok. You know, I would think she'd be easy as pie to put in front of a camera, but she just hasn't gotten around to it yet. I'm going to try to get her tomorrow as well. And then maybe uh, my little son, who is easy as simple. I don't know why I haven't got him on the camera yet on this video. But um, he's six years old. His name is Jaden, and he is a piece of cake. Uh, to, to get. He's all about the camera, you know. I don't know why I haven't seen him. You haven't seen him but uh, I'm going to try to work on that tomorrow. But we're going to a national park, like I said, into Gatlinburg area, um, which is just the other way uh, from where we're staying. I don't want to sit here and take too much of this uh, this evening up to, to you know make this video any longer than it is. Um, guys, I appreciate you sticking around, watching what you've watched so far. Um, please, um, hey, I keep saying it over and over. If you get a chance, share, share this video, this campground, uh, their reviews were not great. Um, we gave them a chance because everybody deserves a second chance, and I really would hope that you guys would get a chance to either share uh, their information uh, with, with, you know, with 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 whoever you share with, uh, whether it be you know a, a camp, you're a camper yourself, or you know an RV or yourself. Um, definitely do so. Uh, is Ripley's Water Campground and uh, Cabin Rental. Um, they do have cabins for rent. Um, I, I did say already they have uh, 50 amp service here. They have full hookups, uh, so you get water, electricity, and of course your sewer. Um, great campground. Uh, they have 150 campsites here. We are over on the edge of this river, as you saw in the previous uh, little bit of this video. Um, we are actually pretty close to a lot of. Uh, amenities, a lot of tourist things. Uh, Gatlinburg is one way, and Pigeon Forge is another. Directly across the street from us, there is a, uh, a helicopter tourist. You basically pay 30 bucks, you get on a helicopter, they take you in the air, and they give you a kind of an idea of what the boulevard, if you will, uh, what, it, what, what it all pertains and what's all, all on it. But uh, anyway, guys, I won't take any more of your time this evening. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow. It is currently 10.35 on a Saturday morning and we are headed to the National Park in Gatlinburg and we're going to go hiking and we have something else planned but we're not quite sure what it is yet. I mean, I think the parents know, but the kids, I don't think we do. And right now we're just in a car so we've got Haley and then Jaden's over there in the car seat Haley can't stop laughing because she thinks we're ridiculous but. and you've got dad hey. mom and we also have the dogs <laughs> wow okay <laughs>
All right, guys, so we made it to uh, Gatlinburg National Park. We did! There's McKenna and my oldest daughter in the background and my wife, Jessica. And then Jaden's in the front. There he is. So, Can somebody take Stella, please? Let me just have Daisy. Anyway, we're going to see some pretty cool stuff on this, uh, this trail. Uh, guys, the, the water over here is amazing. Um, you really see a lot of cool yeah, water. So we're walking back to the car from our little hike. Uh, there's going to be a couple of pictures I'm going to show you in the, uh, or actually, well, some of the pictures you probably just recently saw. I'm not sure where we're placing, but anyway, that was a schoolhouse uh, and a cabin. And this cabin literally is in the middle of nowhere. Um, of course, we're again in uh, National Park in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. But uh, anyway, we're on our way back to the car or the truck, and uh, we'll check back with you then. We'll uh, see how everybody thinks about the hike. What do you think about the hike, Michaela? My legs hurt. My legs hurt. We probably have walked about. I don't, know. I don't think the, the length of the hike was worth it. Just to come see a tiny cabin right. and a school. Right. Yeah, I, I will say this. I was hoping to uh, see maybe like a, a waterfall or something a little, you know, Mother Nature yeah, made, I guess I you'd mean, call it. But, uh, it was cool, but there wasn't much there. Was like Jade, what do you think about the uh, hike, bud? What do you think? Jade, what do you think about the house? What? What do you think about that cabin back there? Do you like it? That's a typical boy for you. Can I guess what? What's this? Oh, yeah.
don't know if I said it or not, but we went to Gatlinburg yesterday. It was way too crowded. Way too many people. I mean, way too many people. Uh, it, it, it just took forever to get your car even in the area. Uh, I was actually talking to somebody this morning that went through Gatlinburg last night about 11 o'clock, and they said that it was a lot better, but of course, you know, it was just off size, and they were trying to see, you know, see, I guess, the lights and stuff uh, with no people, but anyway, guys, we, uh, I guess we're heading home now, so we appreciate you guys uh, following along in the, in the, in the uh, journey. Um, if you would, please uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. Like the maybe video. share it. Maybe share it. That'd be really appreciated. We're trying to get uh, our subscribers up. Uh, if you have any comments, uh, we'd, we'd appreciate it. If you leave it down below the bottom, we'd appreciate it as well. But uh, thanks so much for watching. We hope that, that you uh, either saw something that uh, might attract your attention to come to Tennessee. Um, in, in our situation, it was uh, Pigeon Forge in, in Gatlinburg area. We did not go to Dollywood, uh, of course, if we had, we'd probably have videoed some of that, but um, anyway, guys, thanks for watching, have a great one, we'll see you in the next one.